and 22 of the 23 promises made in industrial growth. These are some of the painstakingly we have looked at each one of them and our media department, our research team, this is the finding and it is shocking. And there is something more. The story doesn't end here. Leave aside the falsehood dished out by the BJP in the 2018 manifesto. The truth is, and I am pained to say so for a chief minister, Chiri Basavraj Bommai is a habitual liar who served fake promises even in the last budget of 2022-2023 as he goes on to present the new one. Let the backstabber in chief and I use that word with some pain and some responsibility. Let the backstabber in chief Mr. Basavraj Bommai answer 10 questions to people of Karnataka on the lies and deception in the budget of 2022-2023. Number one, why is it that out of 339 broke actionable promises of 2022-2023 budget, 207 remain ornamental government orders and 132 promises have not been implemented at all. Number two, why is it that up to 1st of January 2023, since data is available till there, Bobmai government spent only 56%, a pitiable 56%, of the budgetary allocations of the budget 2022-23. So they spent only 1.4 lakh crore out of the 2.5 lakh crore allotted. Number three, why have the 438 Namma clinics remained on paper and one or two that are there, they are only being used for BJP's Prachar Samagri. Number four, why has the Suchi scheme supposed to benefit 19 lakh children in the last budget not even started, not even restarted? Number five, why did Shri Basavraj Bommai fail to spend, utilize even 50% of the 3,000 crore announced for Kalyan Karnataka. Number six, why did Mr. Basuraj Bommai fail to provide actual funds, physical funds to Vokaliga Development Board and Billava Kosha announced in the budget of 2022-23? Why did Shri Basavraj Bommai fail to provide actual fund to Voka Liga Development Board and Billava Kosha announced in the budget of 2022-23? Why is it that Shri Basavraj Bommai and BJP is deceiving all communities with fake promises of reservation? Why has the Modi government and Basavraj Bombay government not placed the enhanced reservation bill for reservation of SCST in the ninth schedule, making it a paper exercise? Number eight, why did the chief minister deliberately give defective reservation to Panchamshali Lingayats and Voka Ligas Consequently, enabling it to be stayed by courts. Number nine, why did the chief minister and the BJP backstab 
our brothers and sisters of the scheduled caste left kuruba and other backward class classes of the state with unfulfilled promises of giving them reservation when they had no intent to do so and 10th where is the where is the kannada bhavan in goa despite not double a, a triple engine government being in place so the truth is lies lies and lies thy name is basavaraj bommai kannadigas already reject the jumla budget of 2023 24 even before it is presented tomorrow i would now request chairman of the campaign committee uh, mr mb patil to 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 sort of summarize it in kannada and then uh, muniyappa saab will say a few words all right uh, randeep surjewala of the congress uh, there attacking uh, the bomai government in fact uh, questioning them as to why the promises uh, which were made were not uh, fulfilled 